Hey yo, Jojo here, and welcome to my playthrough of The Supper. It's about a very old lady trying to feed this neighborhood. Surely nothing will go wrong. <laughs> Let's just start. Oh dear. Alrighty then, a bite-sized game by Octavie Navarro. Nice. I, 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 the pun doesn't bother me as much. I approve. I approve. Oh. Miss Appleton. Left click to continue. Oh. Wake up. Oh, so I just click. I don't really use the keyboard. Oh. I'm sorry, Miss Appleton. I know your old bones are tired. Things were so much easier before, weren't they? She's wearing plungers as legs. <laughs> I... Oh my goodness. Uh, there's no time to rest. Look at the time. I don't see a clock anywhere. Customers will be arriving any minute now, and we don't want to keep them waiting with empty bellies, do we? Special sauce. Uh, the embers? Am I supposed to do anything with them? Fire tongs? Okay. Got a swordfish. It touched its tail for some reason. Solid wax. An empty pot. What about that recipe list? Oh! Hand and tongue stew. One plump human hand, one slimy tongue, cover with special sauce. Or I could feed them pigeon. You know, we don't we don't have to resort to the hand and tongue stew. Swordfish might be fine too. Um, so I just click around. Nice. Go to the dining room, and we will turn on the candles. I know, it's dark in here. Some light will make the place much more inviting. Oh, she can't reach. Maybe I'm supposed to get the fire. Hey, there we go. Using my big brain here. Now we light it. I don't think that's how that works, but that's okay. We'll go with it. Well done, Miss Appleton. Now we just have to wait for some starving souls to pass by. An empty water jug. Got one of those. Oh, no time for a walk now, Miss Appleton. I smell fresh clients coming this way. Why don't you go ahead and make sure our special sauce is ready for them? Alrighty. I will do that. Oh, Miss Appleton, you look like you've seen better days. Mmm, smells delicious. Did you hear, Miss Appleton? Horses, growling stomachs. Here they come. And there they go. Oh. They're actually coming in. Do you think it could be them? Who is them? Can I fill you with special sauce? Just water, I guess. Oh well. We'll go say hi to our guests. Customers! Hello, my f Oh. What'd you just drop in my place? Look, the chest. These are the men we've been looking for. Let's find them a place to sit. Quickly. Alright. I guess they're just gonna have soup. So, what would the gentleman like to start with? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, mind controlling fungus, deadly shark, and an old man. Can I say anything to you? You want the spicy red swordfish, a personal favorite, a mouth watering delicacy it, that's healthy as well. Lots of omega 3. Very important in one's diet. They want the human. Did you hear that, Miss Appleton? Hand and tongue stew. 
and you thought this recipe wouldn't be appealing to our customers. I was right. You were wrong. All right. Old man just wants some pigeon. Okay. I can do that. So that's spicy red swordfish for the mind controlling beast on the left. A pigeon uh, a la sauce rosé for the stick old, sick old man on the right. And a fine hand and tongue stew for the dangerous looking blue shark in the middle. Lovely. Of course, all served with our delicious secret sauce. What is in that secret sauce, though? Come on, Miss Appleton. Go and fetch the ingredients. And don't forget to check out the recipe list in the kitchen if you have any problem remembering them. Um, what was it? Oh, it was right here. Uh, just one wild pigeon, one swordfish tail, and a chili pepper. Okay. That doesn't seem too bad. I can take you, right? Maybe not now, but... Let's see. Well, let me go out now, because I kind of have to go get those ingredients. Oh, the chest. Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. Is my special sauce going to kill all of them? Oh, it's a pigeon. Got a tavern sign. The Joyous Lobster Inn. The best place in town for a snack. Alrighty. What's this? A jail door. Can I do anything with you? No. Lovely. What's this? Oh, okay. Let's resume the game. Don't want to go back into the cavern. A wooden cart? I hope you're not thinking of climbing up there. Why not? Hmm. Let's see. Oh, a rope. Can I... No? Alrighty. A fisherman. Oh, a very dead fisherman. Poor old Pete. I always knew he'd lose his head sooner or later. What does he have? Oh, fish pole. I got a boot. But... I don't really need one of those. What can I do with a boot? Rope ladder. Mm. Can I just... No, I'm not going to be that smart. And Alrighty. We'll try to figure that out in a second. Do I tr try to hit you with a boot? Oh! Oh, I do. I got me a pigeon. <laughs> That's the main ingredient for our pigeon supreme, a la sauce rosé. Now let's finish the dish. Alrighty. It doesn't exactly seem fair to feed one and not the others at the same time, you know? It's always a bit awkward. Empty pot. Let's uh, cook that pigeon. No? I could have sworn we'd... Do I just dip you in special sauce? Oh, I guess I do. Who needs to cook the pigeon? You know, just, just pour sauce over it. It's fine, it's fine. Well done, Miss Appleton. The pigeon a la sauce rosé is ready to be served. Um... I believe you wanted it. Bon appetit, monsieur. Oh, oh dear. <gasps> you can tell by his pale face that he really enjoyed his last supper. Lovely. Don't worry. They're used to, to passing out in taverns. They won't notice him. He stopped breathing. Ah, uh, get me some rusty scissors. Can I do anything with him? I don't think I should try cutting him up in front of them. But we will go outside and see about cutting that rope. 
Oh, poor Miss Appleton. Yes. There we go. Climb the rope ladder. With your plunger legs. Oh, Captain's cabin. Oh, he's he's very dead. Hmm, I think I know this guy. Let me taste his blood. Pull out the butcher knife. Sip. Oh, yes, indeed. Captain Clint McMurray, my sister's second husband. Looks like you won't be beating anyone up ever again, Clint. Ooh, I sense aggression. Can I go back in there? No? Alrighty then. That's fine. Trap door. I can choose not to go through it, but I will. Oh, dearie. Miss Appleton. A seedling. The seed looks completely parched. We need to find it a nice drink. Good thing I have this empty water jug to put in the puddle. How long? Okay. I thought you were going to have me wait a very long time for this. Alrighty. Pour on the seedling. Will it instantly grow? It will. Get that chili pepper. Awesome. I have the butcher's knife, so now I can cut the fish. Fish up. It's just the human part that I'm wondering how we're going to pull off. Just an innocent old lady walking by. No, no need to worry. None at all. Let's cut you up. Disgusting. Put your chili pepper. Oh. The swordfish. Wait, wait, wait. The special sauce should be added at the end, Miss Appleton. Just follow the recipe. Huh? Wait. Uh, one blue swordfish tail. Add one chili pepper. Cover with special sauce. Now you want me to put it in the empty pot? I'm confused. Wait, do I... Oh, I combined them like this. Okay, perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Again, no need to cook the fish. Just cover in, in special sauce. It's fine. Well done, Miss Appleton. Our spicy red swordfish is ready to be served. Good luck to you, my dude. I wish you the best. Bon appetit. Oh, very interesting animation. Yikes. Ah, yes, a satisfied stomach. This delectation is a pleasure worth dying for. I don't know about that. <laughs> Did you get it, Miss Appleton? It's funny. Come on, laugh. Oh. She looks so miserable. But she did giggle a little, so... Two down, one to go. Oh, you are very dead, my friend. A skeleton hand. What would I need that for? For the lever? Um... Looks more like it would be used as a back scratcher, if anything. I'm confuzzled. Doing a confusion. Do I get some wax? Oh, I have solid wax now. Do I combine you? Hmm. Uh, both your friends are dead. Oh, a slimy tongue! Here we go. Um, so I got the slimy tongue.
Hmm. So now what, though? Got the tongue. He's not hungry. Uh, what... N What's this nonsense, Miss Appleton? That's not what the gentleman ordered. He's already dead. Focus, Miss Appleton. Focus. I'm trying to see if there's anything I can click on. Besides in the kitchen. Oh! Okay. Makes sense. Wax in the pot. Alright. So we got boiling wax now. So you want... Alright, makes sense. Dip the hand in there. Now it looks like a human hand. Lovely. Combine the two. Perfect. Those are the main ingredients. Now let's finish the dish. Okay. I thought I was going to have to get that in a more gruesome manner. But not bad. Well done, Miss Appleton. The hand and tongue stew is ready to be served. Alright, ready to give it to my last victim. <coughs> I mean, customer. Enjoy. Oof. I can see the soul leave his body. Ah, another satisfied customer. Such a tasty delicacy can't help but defeat even the most discerning of stomachs. Well done, Miss Appleton. The service was impeccable. I don't think our customers have any complaints, do they? Hmm. No, oh, great. Now, let's clean this mess up before the stench gets the attention of the authorities. Oh, he's not hungry. Can I get the chest now? Be patient, Miss Appleton. Be patient. Oh, dear. It is now very red here. Oh, pushing the wooden cart. Smart. Great idea, Miss Appleton. This will be useful to carry the bodies out. Lovely. I just stack them on top of each other. Dum dee doom. Ten fathoms deep on the road to hell. Yo ho ho and a bottle of. Oh, here you are. Interesting, they don't really show it. That's fine. And I'm assuming this is a garbage dump. Pull the lever. We never use a grinder with such large specimens. Let's hope their bones don't get stuck. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, gross. That's a special soup. Is there blood? Oh, that's awful. Well done, Miss Appleton. You performed diligently. Miss Appleton doesn't look very good. Oh, she fell asleep. Oh, it was just a body in there. Thank you, Miss Appleton. I appreciate all you've done for me. At last, I'm allowed to rest. And so are you. Aww. I have so many good memories of you and I working side by side. You are my dearest friend. When those beasts dragged me out of our kitchen, I knew I was done for. Oh, that's why she was missing her legs. I swear I didn't steal that gold nugget from them. I want it fair and square. Aww. While I was anguishing, suffocating inside this chest they put me in, there was only one thing I knew for certain. You wouldn't rest until you found me. Dead or alive. I'm deeply sorry you had to lose your own sanity along the way. Please, find a quiet place to bury my bones, near the old well where I like to spend time. It's time for me to leave, Miss Appleton. Here it was, I thought it was a demon, like, whispering in her ears, but it was actually the ghost of her husband. Sweet dreams, my dear friend. And goodbye. 
Oh, so I don't feel as bad about murdering them now. <laughs> Remembering the old times. Was that it? Yep! That was the end of the supper. Written and designed by Octavi Navarro. Nice. Um, it was a fun little short game. And I honestly thought we were just murdering these people for no reason, but that ending kind of surprised me. Why these th things would carry a chest with a body in it, I have no clue. But Miss Appleton was adorable, and I, I understand why she did what she did now. Thank you for playing. If you enjoyed this little game, please consider supporting the developer. Yes! Please support the developer so that they can help create more games. You can do it by buying the PDF art book DLC. Thank you for your generosity. <laughs> Am I gonna hit the pigeon with a boot again? Or am I actually allowed to click anything? Nope. Anyway, I think that's it. It was a fun little short game to play. Um, it is available on Steam and it is for free, so if y'all want to go check it out and support the author by buying the book, feel free. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!